The Boy with a Stinky Finger by Andy Walker. Sammy loves his mummy. He kisses her a lot. One day he touched her cheeks, but she said, Oh, honey, stop. The boy was rather puzzled at his mom's alarm. She'd sniffed an achy odor coming from his upturned palms. She looked a little closer. You do have dirty hands. They seem really funky. Were you playing in the sand? Then Mummy questioned Sammy more. Were your fingers on the kitty? The cat had caught a mouse that day, and it was smelling kind of iffy. Or what about the walk you took in your running shoes? Did you know the public park is full of doggy doos? He said, no, no, mummy. I just played here on the floor. My stegosaurus and my T-Rex fought in a dino brawl. Yet he hopped around the carpet with a funny twisty twitch and he wiggled his bottom as he tried to soothe the itch. Come here and turn around, she said, and then let out a snort. Is there something wrong down there in the crack of your shorts? He made a sad and frowny face and asked what he should do about his itchy, scritchy bum and stinky finger too. The boy was quite embarrassed. He had regretful thoughts. Yes, his scratching finger had rubbed inside his shorts. His mummy said quite kindly, You should hop into the tub. If your bum is kind of dirty, it will make you want to rub. He went into the bathroom and she helped him get undressed. She filled the tub with water and he washed to clean the mess. After Sammy clambered out and was swaddled in a towel, his mummy took a careful sniff. My boy is no longer foul. Little man, I'm proud of you. And the soap has superpowers. Because now your stinky finger smells a lot like summer flowers. The lesson of the story is not hard to understand. If your rear is kind of itchy, don't scratch it with your hand. And if you do, wash it well. And don't forget your bum. Get extra clean and smelling nice so you can kiss your mum. <laughs>